at that, you guys. No mascara. That's wild, right? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I am so excited for this video because we're doing something fun. We are doing a makeup look and today we are doing my quick and easy spring summer makeup look. And this has been a look I have been doing for the past three or four years, something like that. And it's so simple. I kind of figured like no one would care or want to do it, but I figured it would be fun to film and show you really what my kind of go-to, especially when it's hot and sweaty out, um, what kind of my go-to look is. And it's simple and easy and you don't need to have, be wearing a ton of products. Like we're doing mascara less makeup today skin tint foundation -less, anything kind of like that makeup -less look and I love it. It's so easy. It's so light and easy on the skin and I kind of suggest a bunch of different types of products I like to use and yeah, I really enjoyed filming this video. Um, this is just like the cleanest, most youthful looking makeup look and it literally will look on, on everyone. I'm obsessed. And yeah, I just wanna jump into this video and get started because I want you to see this really quick and easy spring summer makeup look. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And please leave a comment down below on your favorite, you know, products for a spring summer quick, just in and out the door kind of makeup look. Let me know down below. And yeah, let's jump into this quick and easy spring summer makeup look. All right, you guys, quick and easy spring summer makeup look. I kind of use the same technique spring or summer, especially as it's getting warmer. Um, so I like to kind of interchange. I might change the blush color, the bronzer color, depending on how tan I am, but this is really like kind of my go-to look. So let's get into it. First things first, I don't always use a skin tint. And when I do, I would use the Summer Friday skin tint. Today, we're not gonna do that because I've used this a ton on camera and I want you to know what I use when I don't wanna use a skin tint or a foundation, something like that. So I like to go with a sunscreen a lot of the time when I'm not doing a skin tint, foundation, what have you. I like to go with a sunscreen that has a little bit of a shimmer to it to kind of give my skin a really healthy looking glow. But when I'm not using something like that, and those sunscreens would be the K-Beauty sunscreen, the um, Super Goop Glow Screen, girl, if I can't get it together and um kosas also just came out with one one that has a little bit of shimmer that kind of balances the skin out a little bit if i'm not going with something like that because i know a lot of people don't necessarily love a shimmer sunscreen then i like to go on with one of these from the brand verse so these are their um moonlight glow drops and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go with a little bit like a couple drops of the lighter shade, which is the shade Moonlight, Moonlight, no, girl, golden, and then just a touch of the shade Bronze, just like that. And then I'm gonna mix them together on the back of my hand, like that. And then I'm just gonna apply directly to my face and kind of just blend it out. And I love this product. It is so lightweight and works really well with a lot of products underneath and i just am a really really big fan of this kind of product it just melts into the skin and it makes your complexion just look so good and it really i mean i don't know if you noticed but it really balances it out so it doesn't look too like if you have a little bit of blotchiness or whatever, I, it feels like to me, at least when I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh wow, this really balanced me out. These are great. I really, really like these. And these are really affordable. I believe they're like $12, which is nice. Um, and this way you can kind of customize a shade depending on how tan or, you know, not tan pale like me right now you are, but also you, you're not committed to only the sunscreen for, having a really healthy looking complexion you can kind of use it with other sunscreens with other products within foundation and not these are great products so the next one i like to do is i like to go on with a concealer now i always like to go on for a really quick and easy summer spring whatever makeup look i like to go with a little bit more of a sheer 
one for when I'm doing this type of makeup look. So I like to go on with the Say Beauty one. Um, the Huda Beauty one is great too. I've reviewed that one. Um, and this is the shade three, I believe, in the Say Beauty one. Yeah, and I'm just gonna do three little dots. And you might be like, girl, that is not enough concealer. Trust me, it is. Now this concealer, blend with your fingers. I think a lot of sheer concealers work best when you blend them with your fingers. Um, so I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just going to tap in this product. And I really, really like the way that this product kind of reflects. And I mean, look at what that's done to my under eye. It's pretty crazy actually what it does for a sheer product. It gives great reflection. It has a nice pigmentation, but it's not overly pigmented. It works best in my opinion when you blend with your finger but you can use a brush. I don't love it with a sponge, but I prefer a f the warmth of my finger. I just feel like this product specifically needs it. Now this looks great. I'm gonna apply a little bit more just so you can see how this product layers. Just a touch more. And again, we're gonna blend with our fingers and it's not gonna be anything crazy. And we're just gonna kind of focus right here. This is where most of my darkness is. And just kind of blend easy peasy. I mean, look at that, that's crazy. It's such a good product. I know there's a lot of like sheer concealers kind of coming out. I know um, Rare Beauty has one. Huda just came out with one that I've talked about. There's a lot of great options out there. Okay, so then next we're gonna go on with bronzer. I have two that I'm currently really loving for kind of this more natural base. Um, and this is one of them. This is from LYS Beauty and this is in the shade Harmony and it's just the best. I'm gonna do a little swatch on the back of my hand for you. It is so pretty. It is like the perfect neutralness. I also really like the Merit Beauty one, but the Merit Beauty one for me right now is a little bit too warm. Um, so I am gravitating more towards warm neutral products um, and this is great. Now, if I wanna go with a powder, which I love a powder bronzer to be honest, um, I really like this one from Victoria Beckham Beauty and this is in the shade 04 and it is just, the perfect kind of bronzer. It, it it just gives great balance. What I think I'm gonna do is I think, I think I'm gonna go on, cause I already have it on the back of my hand. I'm gonna take a little bit of this bronzer here with this brush. Um, this is from the Makeup by Ariel Morphe collab. And I'm just gonna take a little bit on this brush and I'm going to kind of apply right there. And this is a beautiful bronzer and bold, I mean this, melts into the skin in the best way. What is your current go-to bronzer? I would love to know. Okay, love that. It woke up my complexion a ton. I'm gonna do a little bit on my nose just to show you the little extra steps that sometimes I take. Um, I don't do this all the time and I'm just gonna do a little bit here. I don't like it all over my nose. I end up feeling like it ends up looking too crazy. So I do a little bit like this and then a little at the bottom. It's almost like contouring, but it is with a warmer color, which I do like. I'm gonna do a little bit here, and then I like to blend with my fingers. I'm loving how that's looking. I love what it does. I feel like it gives sun kiss without being like too much red um, or pink or like bronze or blush, bronzer, <laughs> blush on the nose. I feel like it is a, an easier way to get, in my opinion, the sun-kissed look without it being too colorful because sometimes I feel like it just looks like I have a cold. Um, and at times I do feel like other people look like they have a cold as opposed to sun-kissed. So I like going with a bronzer instead. Um, I will occasionally go on with a blush, but it's not my preference. So then next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on with a powder bronzer, um, or I mean, you can use an eyeshadow, but we're just gonna go powder bronzer today and we're just gonna go on and put a little bit of bronzer in my crease on the lid and on my lower lash line just slightly to add a little bit of definition. I really like the way that it kind of gives the look a little bit of extra dimension, but it is the simplest way to do it. So this is just a fluffy brush and I mean, you can just already tell the difference that that makes and you might be like, girl, that's too much. Or no, I don't like that. Trust me, you will. And take my finger then and I always blend the edges of what I put in my crease with my fingers. I just find it makes such a good difference, a nice difference, I should say. Now I'm gonna take a little bit on a smaller brush. This is a concealer brush, but this is all I grabbed. So we're gonna use this and we're gonna drag it on the lower lash line. 
Okay, I love that. That gives the look so much definition without it being too, too much. Next, what we're gonna do is I'm actually going to go onto my cheeks next. And I have a couple of things that I like to grab for my cheeks for this type of look. So I have this from Merit Beauty. I actually just got a new one of this. This is the Merit Beauty Flush Balm, right? Or something. Cheek color in the shade Beverly Hills. This is the shade that I grab and love the most. It's just so good. Um, I'll go on with one of the Coolfee blushes. I really, really enjoy this. Um, or I'm grabbing this one a ton as well. This is from Rowan Beauty in the shade Natural Rose. It's just gorge. What I think I'm going to do is I'm actually think I'm going to go on with this one, um, Beverly Hills. It's like a peachy color. And we're going to go on our cheeks with this. I'm so glad I repurchased it because it's one of those that I grab when I need an easy cheek. Um, so I just take a brush like this. this, is the Sephora 93, and I'm just going to kind of focus it here. Look how beautiful that is. Ugh. I'm just gonna focus it here and not bring it too far forward. All right, love that. The Mary Beauty blushes give such a nice flush and like, like due to the cheeks, which gives like a really, really youthful complexion. So does the um, Rowan Beauty. The Rowan Beauty one gives a little less due to the cheek, but it still gives due, which is really nice. And if I don't want as much due, I'll go with the Coolfee um, blushes. These are great. I mean, there's a ton of blushes that I use that I love. I also love the Amico Lay. But if I'm really like just grab and go, like easy, don't have to think about it at all, color because it's not too pigmented, um, even though the Coolfee one actually... <laughs> The Coolfee one's so pigmented, but it's not so pigmented that it's like, it's easy for there to be a mistake and you have to, like you just blend it on, like put it on and you don't have to readjust it or anything. These are great blushes. Next, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take actually a dark brown um, eyeshadow and I'm just gonna take a little bit. This is the Ilia um, eyeshadow palette, the Warm Nudes. And I'm just gonna, on the outer edge of my eyes, just do a touch. That's it just like that. And it's just going to thicken up the lash line without being noticeable. Okay, I love that. I know it feels like an unnecessary step, but I swear it makes all the difference, especially for how I like to do my lashes, which we're gonna do in a second, but I want to go on with a highlighter. So I'm gonna take the Minori highlighter, which is just the love of my life, you know, if you've been on this channel before, and I just take it and I highlight here. And then what I like to do is I like to take just a brush like this with a sharp edge and just pull it down my nose like that, not too far down. And then take a little bit and just put it at the edge of my nose and then just kind of blend it in really nicely. Next, we're going on to lashes, you guys, and I don't use mascara. I'm going to repeat it for the people in the back, I don't use mascara. And I know that sounds crazy, but I swear, I swear it looks good and it's gonna look complete and not weird. I mean, I guess it doesn't look weird right now, but you know what I mean. So I like, you can use Aquaphor, you can use Vaseline. I use this, the Lano Lips 101 ointment. And I'm gonna explain what I'm gonna do before I do it, just so that it's clear. What I like to do is I like to take a little bit of product on my finger, just a touch and apply it to my lashes. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. A little bit of product on my finger. <laughs> you guys are gonna think I'm crazy. Just like that. And I'm going to apply to my lashes. And some people might hate this idea, which is fair. I'm not, don't feel like you have to do this. You can just use mascara or nothing or just curl your lashes. But I like to do a combo of all of the above. And by all of the above, I mean, no mascara, but all the other steps that I suggested. So I like to apply just like that. And then what I like to do is I have these spoolies. You don't have to do this, but I do like to kind of take the spoolie and just make sure my lashes aren't clumped together. So now it's all like spoolied out. And then what I like to do is I like to take an eyelash curler and curl my lashes. <laughs> Your lashes, first of all, will last all day. When I do this, my lashes will still be curled sometimes the next day when I do this specific trick. It's not the same when I use mascara and then put mask, like curl my lashes, then put mascara on. I would never curl 
after I put mascara on, that is just trouble in my opinion. But um, I find that my, my curl lasts like multiple days with this, which is really nice. So I'm gonna do a little curl. Look at that. Can you believe that that is no mascara? Girl. Look at that, you guys, no mascara. That's wild, right? So this is something I did a lot the last three summers, um, especially when a lot of the time we were home a lot, right? So I was kind of doing that because I still wanted to look put together, but I don't want to like apply a ton of makeup always. Sometimes I just want to keep it easy peasy, lem squeeze. And so this is like been the best thing ever. And I really, really enjoy the way that it looks. You let me know down below. Um, and again, you can use Aquaphor, you can use Vaseline, you can use what I use, which is the Lano, Lano Lips 101 ointment. There's a million things that you can apply. Um, and it does such a good job. Like the hold is great. So next we're gonna move on to the lips and we're gonna use a lip liner. And we're gonna use this one, which is currently the love of my life. Um, oh my gosh, my neck is so itchy. I think I got bit by a mosquito and like, Girl, if you don't leave me alone. Um, this is the shade um, Sunset Nude from Armist Beauty. And I'm going to apply this to my lips. And I just love that. What do you guys think? Isn't it gorge? I am obsessed with this. Sometimes I'll just put like the lip balm or Lano lips or whatever it is that I have, like a clear gloss. Or if I wanna be a little jazzier, I'll maybe bring something with a color today because I wanna be jazzy and because we're filming, why not? We're gonna go on with this lip um, gloss and this is from Tower 28 and this is the shade Pistachio, right? I feel like every time I say a name, it's wrong. No, oh my gosh. I'm on, I'm on it today, you guys. We're just gonna apply a little bit to the lips, not too much. Look at that, it's just such a pretty natural makeup look and it looks really, really simple. Sometimes if I'm feeling a little funky, this is pretty much the finished makeup look. Actually, no, this is the finished makeup look, but if I'm feeling a little funky or I want a little bit more glow to my face, I will go on with an eyeshadow palette. Like this is the Rowan Beauty eyeshadow palette. I'll take a little bit of the first two colors here in the palette, the lighter and the darker, just a little bit. I will mix the two on the back of my hand, nothing wild, like nothing too, too crazy. And then we'll just put it right in the middle of the eye. Look at that. And it just adds a little bit of something. So again, I take it on the back of my hand, the mix of the two and just apply it right in the middle without being, look at the glow that that gives. It's just, it gives a little bit of something without being too, too much. Um, and then at times I will take a little bit of my highlighter or one of those shades and just do a little bit in the corner of my eye. And then if I want to set my face with a powder or whatever, if it's super, super um, dewy out, and I just dewy out if it's, if it's super hot out, I will take a powder of some kind and I will just apply a little bit to my T-zone just to kind of balance my face a little bit so it isn't so um, dewy. But a lot of the time I just leave it. It just, it depends on the day. It depends, honestly, it just depends on my mood. Gotta get the stash. Gotta get the stash, you guys. Can't be leaving that looking crazy. And I mean, look at how glowy and beautiful that makeup look is. And we don't have any foundation on. We don't have any mascara on. I feel like the makeup looks so, so good. I feel like it looks like you did something without doing a lot. I mean, can you imagine a foundation, skin tint less, mascara less makeup look that just makes you look alive, healthy, glowy, dewy. Let me know your thoughts down below on this makeup look. And yeah, that's it for this video. That is it for my spring summer, quick spring summer makeup look. I would love to know what is your kind of routine for your spring summer makeup look? Do you have like an easy, I have hair all over the place. My dog's hair is driving me nuts. Let me know down below what you guys like to use. I'm always looking for new products, techniques, ideas let me know. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.